All right, this is Vegeta 8259 again, and this is part two of the Master Grade Delta Plus review. And in this part, we're going to be going over Delta Plus's weapons and accessories and his transformation. So, first off, I guess we'll start with the weapons and accessories. You get a beam rifle, which is going to be molded mostly in gray. It's going to have one little white part up here for these uh, energy cables. It does have a removable ammo pack back here. You can just pull that out. It's kind of tight in there, but if you just pull up, it'll maybe come out. <laughs> okay, there we go. And put it back in. You get three of them. Unfortunately, you don't have anywhere to uh, store the extra two, which was kind of a disappointment. Because I remember in uh, Master Grade Rezel, you could store them in the uh, shield, but can't do that on Delta Plus. Anyway, the handle can go up and down. It's got a little peg down here for uh, storage during Wave Rider mode. And of course, it's got a uh, hole in the handle, which accommodates a peg in Delta Plus's hand. And I actually find that just getting him to hold the beam rifle is a little bit tricky just because of the shape of Delta Plus's arm. His arm kind of gets in the way. As you can see, it's not really straight. It's kind of at an angle. So as I do on a lot of my model kits, I just tuck the beam rifle up under the uh, shoulder like so. Now also, you're of course going to get a shield, which uh, is very, very strange looking when you think about shields. It's actually kind of reminiscent of uh, Zeta Gundam's shield or what they call a shield. Basically just the nose cone of the Wave Rider mode is what it is. And uh, it does have some moving parts which are really more for the transformation but you've got a peg here which will connect to the back of the arm and it's on a hinge so it can go up and down. And you've actually got some features down here. You've got a uh, small beam, I don't know if it's actually a beam rifle, but a small beam weapon down here that can fire. Uh, you've got four white uh, protrusions here. The two in the front are grenades and the two in the back are beam sabers and uh, the beam sabers can come out they've got a hole to accommodate the peg in the hand and you get two clear blue blades for those and to store them away you simply just slide them down inside the shield like so and to connect to the back of the arm it's got a hole back here and you just plug that right in and you're set to go. And now on to Delta Plus's transformation. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you it's not an easy transformation but uh, I think it's not the hardest transformation I've ever done in a Gundam model kit. I think Master 8 XS Gundam has still got it beat. But uh, let's go ahead and get started. Now um, one thing that I'm gonna do that's different than the instructions is I'm actually going to take the arms off because I find that if you do that it will save you a lot of frustration and we'll just connect those on later on during the transformation. Alright, first off these little white parts are going to flip up and then we're going to pull out this little shoulder section. It's going to go out and back. Then the chest and cockpit are going to come up and there's a little uh, mechanical piece down here we're going to have to pull that out that's going to go all the way up until you hear a clicking sound and then you'll push the head down pull that all the way up and we just lost one of these little white things put that back in there the lower torso is going to fold up like so and there we go. Next we're going to move on to the hip joints. I'm going to move the skirt armor out of the way. This just lifts up and we're going to unhinge the hip joint and it's going to kind of revolve around a bit and hook into the back of the torso. Do the same thing on the other side. Alright, now that we've got the hips locked into place, 
Uh, let's see. We're going to fold these shoulder parts inward. Like so. And then, let's see. Next, we need these little support parts. Now, I've heard a lot of people complain about these things that, oh, it's a parts former, and no, it's not a parts former because it can transform without using these things. These are just here for support. And honestly, I'm glad Bandai included them because they do really make the Wave Rider mode a lot more stable. Getting them in is a little bit tricky, but if you just work with it, you should be able to get them in. Okay, now that we got these little supports in, into place, the transformation is much more stable. So you jiggle it around, it's not going anywhere. It's actually locking into the waist, the lower torso, and it's connecting to the leg at two points. So it's holding everything in place very, very well. I'm going to move the front skirts back down and kind of fold these back so they're out of the way. Side skirts will rotate up this way and point those backwards. Next, we're going to reattach the arms, which again isn't part of the transformation in the manual, it's just something I prefer to do. To transform the arms, you're going to disconnect the shoulder and it's going to come up like so. And you're going to end up with something about like this. And there's the hole for the shoulder joint. There's the shoulder peg. And I'm just going to put that right back into place. And I find doing it this way will save you a lot of frustration because these arms are going to be all up in your way when you're trying to do this transformation. So I choose to just take them off and put them back on at this point. All right, now that Delta Plus is standing here in this kind of weird gorilla looking thing, uh, we're gonna take the shield and transform it. It's got a part that slides out at the top, at the bottom and at the top. It's gonna go up like so. And we're going to attach this to the bottom of the Wave Rider. This little clip, which we pulled out near the beginning of the transformation, is going to clip on here. Like so. And then this is just going to clip on in there. Got to be careful with it. But if you just mess around with it, you will feel it click into place. And there you go. Part's kind of coming apart there, but that's pretty much it. Next, we're going to work on these legs. Alright, actually no, I think the wings are next. The wings are basically just going to come down and maneuver around these uh, side skirts to come down to here and they're just going to move into place right there. Do the same thing on the other side. And there we go. They don't really like lock into place, but once they do get into place, they're not really going to go anywhere. They don't flop around at all. And you'll pull out the wings like so. And the last step are the legs. I'm going to move these side skirts out of the way real quick. Move the legs up like so. And once you get that knee bent, we're going to push the lower foot up. And let's see. Oh, I know. We have to pull it down. Then push the lower foot up. And the foot's going to kind of collapse in like that, and you point it backwards, move the ankle armor back into place, and there you go, that's the foot. 
and you simply repeat the process on the other foot and the last step is actually going to be to take these little if I can get it out, this little fin on the back pull that out, and it's going to point up like so move these side skirts back where they're supposed to be and there you go that is the Delta Plus's Wave Rider mode and you can take the beam rifle and there's actually three different spots you can put it you can put it right here on the top or you can flip it around to the bottom and it can go on the underside of either wing it's got little connection points there and of course Delta Plus comes with a action based connector like most all new Master Grades and it uh, actually works the exact same way for robot mode and wave rider mode it's going to connect up in there and you'll hear two clicks because it actually connects at two points and bend that down and there you go your wave rider delta plus is on an action base and in my opinion looks very very nice um, one of the better wave rider modes in my opinion Oh almost forgot to pull out these little wings on the side a very very nice wave rider mode and uh, honestly this is one of those uh, few master grades that I would actually consider displaying in wave rider mode rather than uh, mobile suit mode so really nice job on the final uh, product for the transformation and just for a quick size comparison, here is the Delta Plus next to the Unicorn Gundam in Destroy Mode. He is a bit shorter than Destroy Mode, but I figured he'd be about the same height as Unicorn Gundam in Unicorn Mode. And, as always, here he is next to the RX-78 II, so definitely on the tall side by a little bit. So that about does it for my review of the Master Grade Delta Plus. Um, I think this is a pretty good kit. Um, it looks really great out of the box. Um, the proportions and the detail and uh, sculpting all is very, very nice. Um, I think it's an improvement over the high grade. Uh, it's got uh, a lot of parts and just really good uh, separation from the, uh, the armor panels on it. And, uh... The, the gray color that's molded in, I'm not really crazy about, but it, it is pretty accurate to the show, I think. Um, I prefer kind of the darker brownish gray, like I painted it, like the uh, original line art for Delta Plus was. But then again, that's just personal preference. Um, the kit has good decals, um, and just overall is really nice kit. A little light on the accessories, it's just got a shield and a beam rifle and two beam sabers, but um, it obviously makes up for that with the transformation. Um, the Wave Rider mode looks great. Um, getting it there is a bit troublesome. And really, uh, that's one of my few complaints. The transformation can be frustrating at times, but uh, like I said earlier, it's not the most frustrating transformation I've done. Uh, the ankle joints, um, the ankle joints aren't loose, but just the way the feet are uh, designed uh, kind of makes Delta Plus a bit back heavy, especially with these wings. So that's really a minor uh, complaint I have. But other than that, uh, those are really the two main problems with the kit, just the balance issue standing up and the uh, complex transformation. But other than that, I think this is a really, really good release. So, that about does it for this review, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.